Is it possible for fallen angels to repent? Most men hunger after the latest news. However, let us reflect on the earliest records before the creation of man. It does us good to look back upon the past of God's dealings with his creatures. Herein lies the value of history. We shouldn't limit our focus to how God interacts with human beings. Instead, we should investigate how he interacts with other orders of beings, specifically how he dealt with angels before man became the second sinner. As a result of Satan's guidance, certain angels sinned and left the place where they should have been. These fallen angels' transgression consisted in rebelling against the Lord and his edicts, which is the definition of sin. The word of God says in Jude 6, Amplified Bible, And angels who did not keep their own designated place of power, but abandoned their proper dwelling place, these he has kept in eternal chains under the thick gloom of utter darkness for the judgment of the great day. One of the reasons Jude's letter is so well known is that it is known for bringing up hidden topics, which is one of them. Jude writes about fallen angels who have been locked up in preparation for the day when they will be judged for their transgressions. It is not too much to say that the New Testament nowhere else presents so many strange phenomena or raises so many curious questions within so narrow a space. Angels who did not keep their proper domain. There is some measure of controversy about the identity of these particular angels. Two key places in the Bible make reference to angels engaging in sinful behavior. Isaiah 14, 12 to 14. Amplified Bible How you have fallen from heaven, O star of the morning, light bringer, son of the dawn. You have been cut down to the ground, you who have weakened the nations, king of Babylon. But you said in your heart, I will ascend to heaven, I will raise my throne above the stars of God, I will sit on the mount of assembly in the remote parts of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will make myself like the Most High. Revelation 12, 4 And his tail swept across the sky and dragged away a third of the stars of heaven and flung them to the earth. And the dragon stood in front of the woman who was about to give birth so that when she gave birth, he might devour her child. We read, He has reserved in everlasting chains under darkness for the judgment of the great day. God judged these wicked angels, setting them in everlasting chains. Their sinful pursuit of freedom only leads to bondage. In the same way, those who insist on the freedom to do whatever they want are like these angels, bound with everlasting chains. True freedom comes from obedience. The Word of God does not specifically address the issue of fallen angel having an opportunity to repent, but we can gain some insight from what the Bible does say. One of the highest angels, if not the highest, was Satan, Lucifer. Ezekiel 28, 14 Amplified Bible You were the anointed cherub who covers and protects, and I placed you there. You were on the holy mountain of God. You walked in the midst of the stones of fire, sparkling jewels. Angels such as Lucifer, as well as other angels, were constantly in God's presence and knew of the glory of God. Because of this, they had no reason to rebel against God. Lucifer and the other angels rebelled against God. Second, God did not provide a plan of redemption for the angels as he did for mankind. The fall of the human race necessitated an atoning sacrifice for sin, and God provided that sacrifice in Jesus Christ. God redeemed the human race in his grace 
and brought glory to himself. For angels, no such sacrifice was planned. God also refers to those angels who remain faithful to him as his elect angels. 1 Timothy 5, 21 Amplified Bible I solemnly charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus and of his chosen angels that you guard and keep these rules without bias, doing nothing out of favoritism. We have no reason to believe that angels would repent even if God gave them the chance. 1 Peter 5, 8 Amplified Bible Be sober, well-balanced, and self-disciplined. Be alert and cautious at all times. That enemy of yours, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, fiercely hungry, seeking someone to devour. The fallen angels seem entirely devoted to resisting God and assailing God's people. The Word of God says that the harshness of God's judgment differs according to how much understanding a person possesses. Luke 12, 48, Amplified Bible but the one who did not know it and did things worthy of a beating will receive only a few lashes. From everyone to whom much has been given, much will be required. And to whom they entrusted much of him, they will ask all the more. The fallen angels then, with their excellent knowledge, greatly deserve God's wrath. This gives us lessons. First, it assures us that certain men causing trouble will be judged, regardless of their spiritual status. If God judged the angels who sinned, he would judge these certain men. Secondly, it warns us that we also must continue walking with Jesus. Every good and holy influence surrounded them. They saw God and abode in his courts and conversed with seraphim and cherubim. Their daily activities were all of sacred order. Worship and service were their responsibility and joy. They were not only in paradise, but also in the very dwelling place of the Almighty God Himself. Yet, evil found its way into the very hearts of angels, including envy, ambition, pride, and rebellion. As a result, they fell fell to the earth and never rose again. This should serve as a lesson for us not to make any assumptions about anything concerning our position down here below. You could grow up to be a man of Belial despite having been raised by godly parents who took great care of you as a child and continue to do so as an adult. Even if you never visit a place known for immorality, and your travels consist only of going to and from the house of God, it is still possible for you to be a bond slave of evil. 